I was playing a few games with Tommy Stevenson from Cincinnati, and when he called four in the corner, I said, Tommy, the four ball's not on the table. He hit the cue ball anyway. The object ball went ding, 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 four rails, and it split the pocket. And you come to realize there's a dimension to this game that those of you who don't play bank pool may be unaware of. In part because bank pool and more so one pocket involve game-specific skills and knowledge, we don't include these games in Fargo rate. It's not that we don't appreciate these games, we do. In fact, with Derby City Classic going on right now, we thought it would be fun to look at the Fargo ratings of the participants in the bank pool tournament. In particular, as the tournament progresses and players are eliminated, the players that remain, in general, are better players. And we have to be able to see that in the average Fargo ratings or the distribution of Fargo ratings. The number at the bottom here is the round in the tournament. Like all tournaments at Derby City, it's a single elimination event with a one-time buyback option. And on the left here is the average rating of the players that remain at that round. A little perspective on the scale here, 718 is USA Top 100, 770 is World Top 100, and 790 is World Top 50. We have established Fargo ratings for a little over 200 of the bank pool players and performance ratings for a little over 300. The tournament started with an average rating of a little over 630. Pretty strong amateur level, top 100 or so in a state like Oklahoma or Minnesota or Arizona. We thought it was really interesting to see what happens to the average level of the remaining players as the tournament progresses and presumably the strong preferentially survive. By the time we get to round 10, there's only 10 remaining players in the tournament. Here's another fun way to look at the same thing. Follow a progression of the distribution of player ratings. The lower level players leave more quickly as the rounds progress, so the distribution shifts to the right. Now these players have largely earned their Fargo ratings by playing rotation games, but the core skills and competencies tested there just count for a lot. Now just because you have a certain Fargo rating doesn't mean you're going to be able to play bank pool at that level, but it does mean if you turn your attention to it and focus on it, you're going to develop to a player that plays it at that level. The winner of this bank pool tournament is Denis Orcolo from the Philippines. He's world number nine by Fargo ratings.